Hi guys, it's Honey here and welcome to September. If August monthly vlog was a video dedicated just for future Honey to look back on, then September was definitely a month for past Honey and all of her whims and wishes back when I was in high school and college. Some of the biggest events that happened in September were things that I had been looking forward to doing all throughout my high school experience. They were things that I was waiting to finally get to do when I came to America. So without further ado, younger honey, this one's for you. Okay, don't freak out, but I finally got to see Dodie perform live. I know, right? It's been a long time coming. To this day, I've only been to two concerts. I've worked at multiple because I worked part-time as a catering intern when I was in college, but I've only attended two. I get really panicky and anxious in large crowds, so I tend to avoid big events like music festivals or concerts. And as much as I really, really love live music, sometimes my brain really only can take a coffee shop performance or a stand-up set or a living room performance. But I was willing to brave it out to go see Dodie this time. And I took Chris with me and he was very helpful. <laughs> There was a moment during the song Human when the lyrics hit me in a way that I hadn't expected it to. The stage lights shined right at us when Dodie sang the line I want to give you your grin and I realized that she sang those words while looking at all of our smiling slash crying faces. Spoiler alert, this is when I started crying my eyes out. It felt like she was singing not just for us, but to us. This is why I love live performances so much. The songs are a whole different entity when they're performed live, and the lyrics can be delivered in a whole different way. You saw my number and my number wasn't good enough. I'll write a little better if I want to come. To say that I'm a rainbow. This might be a weird part of the show, um, but um, in order to try and send out the biggest thank you I can, I'm going to ask for the house lights to be turned up and try with my superpowers. You'll see. Are you ready? It was such a lovely night. It was so lovely to be surrounded by people who loved her and loved her music and just loved music and expression as much as I did. You could feel the emotion and energy in the room and it just, it rejuvenated me. It made me so happy and made me feel so alive. And I was really, really glad that I finally got to see Dodie perform live after all these years. And on the topic of meeting your idols, this month I got to fulfill one of Younger Honey's other wishes. I finally got to go to a book event for the first time, and the sherry on top of that ice cream cake was the fact that that book event was for one of my favorite authors for the sequel of possibly my favorite book. Carry On by Rainbow Rowell is one of my favorite books ever because within these pages lives one of my favorite fictional characters, Baz. 
I went in deep with this one. I joined a fandom. I made a Tumblr account. I made fan art and wrote and read arguably way too much fanfic. I made internet friends for the first time. Carry on was the reason I finally got to experience an online community, and that's how I discovered BookTube. It started it all, and look where I am now, making YouTube videos. And Wayward Son was the follow-up, the surprise sequel to this book that influenced me so much, and I was so glad that the timing was perfect. The book launched right when I was still in America and still had time to go, and I finally got to go to a book event and a book signing by one of my favorite authors. It felt so great to be surrounded by so many people who loved the story and the characters just as much as I did, and it was lovely to get to read the second book and dive right back into that universe that I love so much. I feel like this entire month is just me gushing about how much I love things and how much I love other people who love those things as much as I do, but that's what it felt like. I know a lot of other things happened that month, but I will forever remember September as the month that I finally got to see Dodie and I finally got to see Rainbow Rowell. The rest of September was extremely laid back. I moved into Chris's apartment and got to experience temporary unemployment for the first time. I won't be moving back to Thailand until the end of October, and this month was the month that I had set aside to take it easy and to make those big plans that I did. I started journaling daily and it really helped clear my head and helped me set aside time to take time to listen and check in with myself every day. And I found a new love for going on long walks outside. The weather was lovely and Boston was oh so walkable, so I spent most of my days listening to audiobooks and wandering around aimlessly and it filled me with some much needed calm. September was a great month and a much needed break and a much needed time of rewarding myself and finally doing some of the things that I've been looking forward to doing for a very long time. I guess my finishing thought would just be that I hope I never forget how lovely I felt in those great moments of September. Thanks so much for watching, I'll see you next time.